All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Now, I just had to come on here and get into this Jackson Mahomes story because this mess is crazy. Now, according to the Kansas City Star, Jackson Mahomes, who, of course, is the younger brother of arguably the best quarterback in the NFL right now, Patrick Mahomes. That's how we know him. He does these crazy TikToks and Instagrams. He's kind of at all the games, sitting in the booth, watching his brother play. I guess you could call him an influencer, but really he's just like an athlete sibling. Anyway, he was arrested on Wednesday morning on a warrant and booked into the Johnson County Jail record show. Court documents show that the 22-year-old is facing charges for three felony counts of aggravated sexual battery and one misdemeanor count of battery. Wow, so three counts of aggravated sexual battery and one misdemeanor count of battery. So it looks like battery is obviously like shoving or pushing or, you know, assault in some kind of way. And then the aggravated sexual battery. Oh, God. So legal case is still unfolding, of course. But we do know a bit about the incident um, that got Mahomes arrested. And I'm going to be okay, I'm gonna read from this Kansas City Star. Police previously confirmed that they were investigating a February 25th incident involving Mahomes at Aspen's restaurant and lounge in Overland Park, Kansas. Of course, he's there because his brother plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. There, Jackson was accused of assaulting a waiter and the owner of the business. So the waiter and the owner. Throughout that evening, February 25th, Mahomes allegedly shoved a 19-year-old male waiter more than once and later forcibly kissed Aspen Vaughn, who is 40, the restaurant's owner. In a previous interview in March, in a series of follow-up texts with a star following the incidents, Vaughn recounted the events related to Mahomes' arrest, which the waiter, who at the time asked not to be named, also backed up. So Vaughn spoke to the star, and the waiter backed it up, but he didn't want to be identified. Okay, so let me go through the sequence of events that happened that night, and I'm going to be playing the security camera footage uh, from that night also in question. So... This is how it starts. The waiter said Mahomes arrived at the restaurant with five friends around 9.30 p.m. The place was busy. About 80 people were eating dinner or at the bar. Mahomes and his friends then went downstairs into the restaurant's basement office. Now, why? this is kind of where it throws me. Why was, and without me knowing it's a detailed situation, like why was he going downstairs into the basement office? I mean, that's, that's what I'm talking about, that influencer and athlete sibling privilege. Like he think he can do anything. Anyway, let me keep going. The waiter said he tried to go into the office, Mahomes, which is typically an employee area only, and that the group wouldn't let him enter. The waiter said Mahomes physically pushed him out of the office. So Mahomes and his group was in the office, and he pushed the waiter out after the waiter, I guess, was trying to get them out of there. Mahomes' group then moved upstairs to the restaurant's VIP room. Okay, so Mahomes is in VIP. At what point, Vaughn said she smelled marijuana coming from the room and told the group that they couldn't smoke in the restaurant. Shortly after 10 p.m., Vaughn said Mahomes asked to speak with her privately in the basement office to discuss a shoving incident that happened earlier in the evening with the waiter. So Mahomes doesn't even know this lady. I thought maybe they had some kind of previous relationship, but it doesn't even sound like he knows her. During that encounter, Vaughn said Mahomes grabbed her neck with enough force to leave a faint bruise, and she provided this evidence to the star and then forcibly kissed her at least twice. And y'all can see that's what the security camera footage is showing, that he grabs her and kisses her. She said his advances were unwelcome and shocking and that he seemed to be intoxicated. Okay, after that, Mahomes and his group left around 10.45 p.m. So they got there, what, at 9.30, I said? So they were only there by an hour and 15 minutes? Okay, that was a lot. According to the waiter, when Vaughn's boyfriend told them to go and not come back. So they left at 10.45. I guess they did leave early because Vaughn's boyfriend told them to go and not come back. Police arrived shortly after that in response to a phone call from the waiter's father who reported the shoving incident. Okay, dang. So a 19-year-old waiter, obviously he's going to be like, hey, this happened to me. And his father's like, let me call the police. So Vaughn said he forcibly kissed me out of nowhere. She, this is what she told the story. And I'm telling him, pushing him off, saying, what are you doing? That's the end quote. And then he proceeded to do it two more times where the last time I was pushing him off. So let me read back through this. He kissed her out of nowhere and then tried to do it two more times as she was trying to push him off. An attorney for Mahomes previously contended that he did nothing wrong. The star was not the star was not immediately able to reach the attorney Wednesday morning. Okay, of course, I mean Mahomes' attorney is going to say he didn't do anything wrong, even if the video footage is right there. Okay, so Mahomes was released from Johnson County Jail Wednesday after posting a hundred thousand dollar bond on felony charges for the you know the the, the battery and misdemeanor assault. The sexual battery. As a condition of his bond, he is not to use alcohol or firearms. Dang! Wow, so he cannot use alcohol or firearms? That's wild. 
I mean, how is that related to the battery and the assault? But anyway, I'm not a judge, so that's his conditions of his mind. He's also not to use illegal drugs or controlled substances and must submit to testing when directed. He is also not allowed to contact victims or go to their homes or places of employment. So he's a lot of restrictions, rightfully so. He also cannot comment publicly about the case or the alleged victim or her business, which makes sense. Again, I said Mahomes is an influencer. He has a lot of clout. A lot of, I mean, a lot of people don't like him because he's kind of annoying. But he does still have clout. So if he were to go out and say anything about this lady, obviously, I think that would kind of like sway public opinion. All right. Mahomes' brief appearance was streamed on Zoom, lasted about a minute, and his next court date is set for May 11th. So that's like next week, a few days. Now, let me get to the Milo part. That's the end of the article. Jackson Mahomes has been wilding for a while, like a while. Remember, he... Y'all remember when he danced on that player's uh, memorial before uh, it was a game. It was, uh, I was in there in Kansas, and I don't remember all the specific details. But there was a player who passed away tragically, and they did a memorial for him. And, and freaking Jackson Mahomes is out there before the game. You know, new memorial, still, seal, you know, cordoned off because it's going to be, you know, introduced during the game. He's out there dance, doing TikTok videos on the damn memorial. Like, it's, it's like a spray-painted thing on the ground. I remember seeing it. It's, it's, the memorial is spray-painted on the side of the field, and Jackson Mahomes goes out there and does some fucking TikTok dancing on it. Anyway, so I guess what I'm saying is I'm not surprised it's caught up with him. And I don't really know if he's going to be able to get out of this because look at that video evidence. And the woman's boyfriend was apparently present. I guess his attorneys could say it was rough kissing, but it was consensual. But again, the lady's boyfriend was at the restaurant, so I don't know if anyone's going to buy that she actually wanted that contact from Jackson Mahomes. Like, it, it, it's not quite adding up. And, and I'm also, y'all see his, you know, once, once he's released from court, I'll be playing a video too. But what I hate about this situation is the one, obviously, if he did this, he needs to, he needs to pay for that punishment. That's the one. The two is... Patrick Mahomes is, is a, is a stand-up guy. Never can't say a bad thing about him. You know, has a lovely looking family, his, his wife and his, I believe daughter. Um, he shouldn't get dragged into his brother's shenanigans. And that seems to always happen. Whenever Jackson Mahomes does something ridiculous or crazy, you know, I'm, it's automatically like Patrick Mahomes is brought up with it because that is really Jackson Mahomes' claim to fame is his brother. I don't think he'd be what he is today without his brother's fame. Uh, but of course, Patrick Mahomes definitely shouldn't have to answer to them, answer to any of this. Like he shouldn't have to be accountable for what his brother does. At the same time, I hope Patrick Mahomes ain't, you know, I, he might want to keep his distance. Uh, yeah, I think he should probably keep his distance and just not, maybe not say anything. Uh, but let me know what y'all think. Will the allegations against Jackson Mahomes stick? Y'all think it'll affect Patrick Mahomes' career? I don't think so, but I'm just throwing it out there. And then, based on the video evidence, y'all think Jackson Mahomes is guilty? I, if I had to just saw the video evidence and the woman's testimony, I might say yeah. But, again, I, you got to see more of the situation. They don't seem to have known each other. She said Jackson Mahomes was drunk, seemed intoxicated. So, it's a lot going on. Anyway, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And then, like the video. And I'll talk to you next time. I'm out. Bye.